Good morning. Traveling with Tony COVID-25. This is where I'm staying, in the Queen Elizabeth National Park, which borders the Congo and is in Uganda. This is my room, which is pretty cool. Bathroom shower's a bit shite. So, what have I been doing? Um, after leaving the Gorillas, which was a massive highlight, it was a long drive through crazy traffic back to Kampala. And after a day of chilling out, I went to the museum, and which was about a thousand years old, but it was, it was probably older than some of the exhibits. And uh, then I went to... Um, Then I went to the tombs of the, the, the Burgundy Kings, which is on a hill in, it's a World Heritage Site, it's on a hill in, in one of the seven hills of Kampala. Um, it was a bit, from what I understand, they keep burning it down because then UNESCO and the government keep giving them money to repair it, but then they never repair it. So they're, they're just scammers. Just like, that's Africa for you. Anyway, after that, next morning, we drove to a place called uh, Fort Portal, which there's no fort there anymore, but there's, it's a bit of a roaring town in this part of the country and has a good restaurant. And, you know, I thought I was, I was looking at this menu and it had like a seafood pizza with anchovies and I got so excited and then they didn't have any and I got, I didn't really want to eat the pizza after that. So, a bit of a disappointment, but then, you know, we are in the middle of the country, a long way from the sea. So, Fort Portal is a gateway to Kabali National Park where they do the gorilla trekking. I mean, not gorilla, uh, chimpanzee trekking. Uh, Toros, something like that. Um, Shemalik, or something like that. Semalik National Park. Um, we went there, and it was okay. A bit disappointing, there was not i got a guide, but there wasn't a lot to see. I went there to see pygmy hippos, but I just couldn't get it through to these people. Oh, yeah, we'll go and look at cobs, and we'll go and... I haven't seen cobs before, actually, so that wasn't so bad. A cob is a type of... Uh, it's a it's an indigenous Ugandan antelope, very kind of similar to an impala, but but doesn't look like an impala. It's similar because it's a main food source to most of the predators. Um... I didn't see anything. I saw, I saw some black and white colobus monkeys there, which was pretty cool. I haven't seen them before. And uh, um, that was pretty much it. So it, I think it, I should have just told them until they got it in their heads to go and see the pygmy hippos. Because that's what I wanted to see. Didn't see them, which is disappointing. Um, then uh, we left that park and uh, got back. We went through the Warrandori... How do you pronounce this? Rwandori Mountains, which is a World Heritage Site. On the way there and on the way back, it's just beautiful. It's, it used to be known as the moon, Mountains of the Moon. When I was 10 years old, I broke my arm and I was in the hospital and I was like whining and carrying on because, you know, it was an unpleasant experience. <laughs> and my mum came in with this old book that was written in the 30s about trapping animals and, uh, you know, these adventure books for children. And, and one of them talked about the Mountains of the Moon. That's why I was keen to go there, but uh, doesn't oh, clearly it's not going to look anything like it when the book was written a hundred years ago. The same when I went to the Amazon, I did that for the same reason, and it was awful. Amazon's just a horrible place to be walking around. Anyway, so I went there, came back to town. Then in the morning, I did a uh, uh, we went out to Kabale to, to do a chimp trick. They didn't take credit cards, which. You, one place does, the next place doesn't. One place, you, you got to constantly carry big fat wads of cash, and I hate doing that. But so I went there, and then I changed my mind because I've seen the chimps before. So instead, we went to the crater lakes, which were, you know, pretty. Saw some more black and white colobuses close up this time, and red tailed monkeys, which is pretty cool. Um, took some photos of the lakes. Then we headed back to town. I decided to time to move on to Queen Queen Elizabeth. So we got here 
in the I got my shit from my room and we got here in the afternoon and then we went so I decided that the first night I would go on a on a boat trip on the on the canal that, that links lakes Edward and George Kazinga or something like that Kazinga some, it's got some sort of name like that and uh, yeah it was good fun it's good fun initially there was not much you know it's the usual stuff the usual, usual hippos and then then there was like an albino hippo which was cool kind of red and you know like he's sunburnt that was kind of cool and then uh, a few birds so i saw five king five kingfisher species in about 10 minutes which was again some of them are really pretty some of them are a bit bland but really cool and a few crocs and blah 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 and then we went across the river or across the lagoon and these big herd of elephants come in and one of the they're they're forest or bush elephants they're not the savannah ones so they're much bigger and one of them had tusks that they had to be five or six feet long i've never seen tusks like that and they were just drinking and fighting and arguing and doing what they do i sat there for about 30 40 minutes just looking at them it was it was amazing i i thought it was over elephants but these ones are different darker bigger oh, pretty impressive Pretty impressive. So went back to the other side. Uh, went back, had a reasonably early early night. Then then uh, we saw elephants in the camp, right next to the camp, with big couple of big males. Um, so we've seen more elephants and probably more wildlife in the camp than anywhere else. So uh, from there, the next day I took off again. In morning game drive, it was I saw cobs. I saw various species, but none of them were... Oh, so that's not true. There was a cat, but I'm I'm starting to think it's a serval because I only got an ass in look at it, and the guy called it something, and I, I thought, well, I've seen servals before. This one looked bigger, but I still don't know what it is. I think it's a serval, but they're rare. The guy says, ah, oh, no one ever sees them, but I was, you know... So that's something. I saw some lions from a distance. One attacked a vehicle. Uh... Because there were cubs, she went after the vehicle, and that was kind of a, it's a long way off, but you could you could see it, and it was quite dramatic. And that was pretty much it for the morning ride. We come back, I was sitting around, I was a bit bored, so we went off to this uh, place called uh, Kamara Kamara Canyon, Kamara anyway, something like that. And uh, you see these grasslands, there are elephants out there on the grasslands, you know, you see these big grasslands and there's like a dip and then grasslands on the other side so it's a, it's a real gorge and inside the gorge is a, is a tropical forest full of chimps and and other monkeys and you know biting flies which seem to be able to bite through your clothing which is fucking unpleasant but you know i had to go down this very very steep incline and uh it was a little bit tough getting down there without breaking my neck and then uh, the walk was quite comfortable it's hot down there but it was within the gorge itself but it was comfortable and then at the end i thought we were going to go back up and she goes oh, i don't think you'll be able to make it up there and i said i thought of course i can fucking make it but i thought well and argue with a woman with a gun she had an ak-47 i thought we'll just <laughs> we'll just walk back so i walked back climbed back up the thing i think she was shocked because i was i was keep telling her to hurry up because when i start something like that i want to finish it quickly i don't want to be messing around waiting for somebody to play with their phone so Got up to the top, driver came, picked me up, we came back, and then last night we went on a night safari, which was a, which was a real night safari, not these twilight ones that they try and sell as night safaris. So we were there, started about 8 o'clock, went to 11, 11 p.m., you know, didn't see any, oh, some bush bucks, which was all right, because I, I haven't really seen too many bush bucks, but no cats, no, none of those, like, aardvarks and aardwolves and pangolins and stuff that i really wanted to see but it is what it is this is uh wildlife viewing you rarely get to see what you want to see you get what you get so it was a good night come back slept well i'm heading back to kampala today a day early really but i need to get that test done as quickly as possible so i can book the flight to uh, uh commerce i'm um, gonna chill i've been carrying that bloody bag full of snorkeling stuff around i've only used it once so I'm, I'm keen to get down there and just spend a few days doing some snorkeling and well not a few days a week there's a mountain to climb i might even have a crack at it it's not a big mountain or i wouldn't bother <laughs> and then there's uh 
Uh, also lemurs on these islands. I, I, you know, I saw lots in Madagascar, but that was you know a year or two ago now. So we might have a look at the lemurs and the turtles. They have, oh, sorry, tortoises, big land tortoises there too, which again I've seen in this in various places around the world. But I like I like them, so I gotta check them out as well. So chill out for a week, and then after that Malawi, it's like a on my map, it's like a big scar that I haven't been to, so I'm going to fix that one up as well. After that, who knows? All right, ciao for now.